Hi everyone, welcome to my view of The Italian Job from 1969, directed by Peter Collinson and yes, starring of course, the legendary Michael Caine. Uh, so yes, we are back and um, here we are to finally talk about this um, British um, you know, kind of, uh, comedy caper and uh, you know, really iconic film and uh, for me, an absolute legendary film. Uh, it really is a very nostalgic film, uh, which we'll get to. Uh, but yes, finally here, you know, to talk about this film and um, there will be a spoilers. Warning here, um, you know, if you haven't seen this film, I simply recommend seeing it first and then come back to this discussion and uh, from there, if you want, uh, you know, feel free, um, you know, to kind of um, leave your thoughts in the comments. We can talk about this film, um, you know, Michael Caine films, uh, you know, British films, you know, of this kind and yes, just um, cinema in general, uh, of course, and, um, you know, it'd be, be great to discuss this. And yes, with all that said, um, all the warnings um, out of the way, uh, let's dig in and uh, yes, finally talk about this film, uh, you know, it's been a long time uh, coming and, uh, you know, I've rewatched it. Last year, um, you know, January, um, you know, 2020, of course. Um, so yes, um, I didn't really get around to reviewing it, um, you know, at that point. Um, but yeah, here we finally are again. I watched it a couple of months ago now, um, again um, for a review, and um, it was actually as well requested by um, Charlie um, the Clagger. And um, once again, I'll leave a link to um, his channel, um, you know, in the description. And um, you know, it's a while back, I believe. You know, he requested this, and I said, you know, when I next get to um, re-watching this film, uh, you know, I'd get to, uh, you know, do a review, um, finally of this, and um, here we are, of course, and uh, yes, many things, uh, you know, that I, I love about this film, and uh, yes, just, um, once again, yes, a great, a great one to request, um, because, yeah, it really is uh, one of my favourite films, uh, you know, in many regards, and uh, just, I have so many kind of uh, memories of seeing this, uh, believe it or not, you know, it's a very, um, a most, one of my most watched films, uh, you know, as a kid, and, uh, you know, just, uh, all the way through, as well as just um, different segments uh, and scenes, and different family members as well, you know, just kind of watching it with them and uh, growing up, just um, seeing this film, and um, I saw as well the remake, uh, I wasn't a fan of that, you know, and, uh, you know, it's certainly when I, I watched it, you know, as a kid, I, I just wasn't a fan of that, I found it boring, and uh, I just, just didn't like it, um, but, you know, the original um, Italian job film, uh, you know, really is uh, such a kind of um, legendary film, and uh, I think it's very, actually, underappreciated um, overall, and, uh, you know, it's kind of more of a cult film than anything, although it's very, very famous um, as well, you know, because different lions and, and kind of, um, you know, of course, the, the Mini Coopers, um, everyone knows of this, um, although not too many people um, regard this as, you know, kind of, a, you know, real kind of great, great film, and uh, it's not really uh, put on different lists, um, you know, it's not that acclaimed really, um, you know, kind of thing, uh, and it's not, I wouldn't say it's recognised, um, you know, in terms of, you know, the actual quality, you know, on, on display here as uh, some films. With all that said, you know, I do think still um, it is, kind of this um, really iconic film in some regards. And for example, uh, if some haven't seen the actual film, uh, you know, they do, they're aware of different elements, uh, you know, for example, the, the Mini Coopers, and um, perhaps the ending, you know, is, is talked about um, quite a bit, um, having said that, yeah, the ending is very, you know, this cliffhanger ending, which we'll get to. Um, and also just, uh, for example, you know, growing up, I, I got, you know, a birthday card at one point, and, uh, you know, you'd open it up, and uh, you'd hear Michael Caine's voice, and, uh, you know, the line, of course, um, one of the famous lines of the film, uh, you're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off, and uh, you know, it kind of plays, and you hear, I'm not going to do the impression uh, fully here, but yeah, it's just a hilarious line, and um, one of my favourite kind of uh, lines in the film, and uh, yeah, just, uh, what a film this is, but yes, uh, as I say, it's kind of this uh, strange, you know, kind of, it's recognised uh, for a few reasons, uh, but it's not overall um, talked about, I wouldn't say, uh, as much as some, uh, you know, kind of British films uh, like this, and um, yeah, what it is, you know, simple uh, kind of setup really, and uh, we have this heist film, uh, comedy film, you know, feel good heist film, a uh, really kind of bizarre film at times, um, some would say, um, but I think it's just, it really is um, one of my favourite um, kind of heist films, and uh, certainly, you know, I'd probably say the most feel good, um, you know, kind of um, ending in some regards to a, any heist film, and uh, you know, such a kind of uh, legendary film this, and uh, of course, Michael Caine um, playing Charlie Crocker, and uh, essentially this this leader of this, um, you know, um, uh, yeah, just this gang, and um, of course he is this criminal who, um, you know, has kind of uh, recently been released from prison, and um, of course he is once again, um, you know, kind of going about and um, planning different things, and uh, of course we have, you know, um, the opening scene though, where we have this um, individual, um, Roger, and um, we have this wonderful, I must say, you know, kind of opening sequence um, where we have this uh, Matt Monroe um, performed uh, song, uh, you know, on days like these, and um, you know, just Quincy Jones, uh, though you know he kind of uh, composes the score to this film, and uh, I must say, um, what a score it is! Um, you know, just a glorious kind of uplifting um, score, and um, you know, it's kind of filled with 
really interesting kind of techno um, beats and um, really kind of uh, quite a genius score this and uh, obviously as well just kind of um, this atmospheric um, you know kind of uh, from time to we have this piece of music um, you know with the mafia and all this uh, kind of coming into it and uh, that is kind of a different um, you know piece of music that is used there and um, really kind of on edge at times and uh, I love you know just um, different uh, kind of pieces of uh, you know classical music um, you know kind of British music as well um, you know kind of injected into the score and um, the overall soundtrack and um, you know I just love um, just the scenes with uh, Noel Coward as well and uh, you know he's kind of going through and he's listening to all, the, all this music is playing um, this kind of British music and uh, you know classical pieces and uh, you know really it's just uh, hilarious from times and it's the thing it's such a funny film, uh, you know, from start to finish, and uh, we have, of course, we have this heist film uh, that you can kind of um, get immersed in and take very seriously. Um, but it is, you know, um, mostly a feel-good experience and um, a crime film. Uh, but it is, of course, first and foremost, uh, you know, a comedy, and uh, it's full of charm and uh, you know, just energy as well, and um, just style. You know, this this film, um, you know, is so cool, and um, you know, has been often uh, described, uh, you know, compared to perhaps, you know, a Bond film, uh, you know, that I've seen, and, um, yeah, I do, I do kind of, um, yeah, get this, this feeling, of course, you know, the, the 60s Bonds, um, especially, you know, just that, that cool, kind of, um, stylish, um, you know, feeling, and I think, you know, the tone of the film, uh, you know, being, you know, being kind of silly at times, you could say, um, you know, film, uh, you know, crime film, and, uh, you know, it's, it's tense in places, um, you know, loads of action, of course, um, but it is, you know, kind of really humorous and uh, quirky as well, and, uh, you know, just, Wonderful film this, um, but yes, we open up as I say with that uh, Quincy Jones, uh, you know, kind of um, song there, and uh, Matt Monroe, of course, performing that, and a uh, really wonderful kind of um, capturing of you know the scenery there, and of course, the, the character of Roger um, is kind of driving through there, and uh, of course, the wonderful song, you know, really kind of dreamlike, and uh, then of course, um, you know, he he dies, um, an explosion happens, and uh, you know, of course, you've got the mafia there, and uh, they're kind of disposing of his, his body and uh, the car as well, and uh, of course. That short, you know, kind of leads on to, um, you know, Michael Caine's introduction, um, you know, of course, Charlie, and, um, you know, just the, the smile on his face, um, you know, kind of sets the tone for the film, you know, a cheeky, uh, you know, charming uh, guy, you know, in this film, just these, um, I think these early scenes are just so great, and kind of establishing, in, you know, kind of his, um, you know, jokey and uh, kind of, uh, silly character you could say uh, although you know someone who um, you know also takes himself seriously and uh, you know we have the um, just these very humorous and you know um, bizarre you could say um, kind of sexual encounters and um, you know reactions from you know, Michael Caine uh, in this you know and you know, everything and all these all these different lines uh, and just these um, the way in which this film opens up um, you know it really is uh, quite hilarious um, but it is instantly kind of immersive and uh, you know I think the balance of comedy and just getting kind of drama here and um, you know the thrilling um, aspect of it you know for example the death of you know the character um, it does lead on um, in the narrative uh, and it plays an important part um, but interjected with loads of comedy and um, moments where you just have Michael Caine you know um, Charlie kind of going around and you know kind of different shenanigans uh, that is one of the words um, to describe this film you know shenanigans you know things go on and you know it's kind of um, with these characters, uh, you know, Benny Hill as well, um, you know, quickly mentioned, you know, he plays um, the professor, um, Simon, of course, uh, you know, he's simply one of the most bizarre characters, uh, you know, in a film uh, that I've seen, you know, really, just the way, um, you know, which he goes about and, uh, you know, how he's kind of, his role in the film, uh, you know, and when he goes out of it, you know, he doesn't really return, uh, you know, too, too much to the other characters, um, he goes out of it before the kind of the final um, scenes, um, but yeah, it's just a, a very bizarre character, and uh, just hilarious in this film, and Benny Hill, um, you know, in this is just so great, and, uh, you know, really adds so much kind of um, charm and uh, likability to the overall team, you know, we have this team, that is the essential thing, you know, they are setting up this this heist, and, um, you know, in Italy, uh, of course, to essentially still, um, you know, four million uh, in gold, Bullion and uh, yeah, from this armored um, truck, and um, the plan is initially to kind of, um, you know, basically just um, set up, you know, a traffic jam, and uh, then of course they can get away, uh, you know, in the Mini Coopers, and um, you know, you, you could say it goes to plan, um, according to plan, but you know, the very ending, uh, things go wrong, and uh, yes, of course, perhaps they get ahead of themselves, and uh, you know, they're too um, jolly, and uh, of course, then we have, you know, the swerving and you know, hanging on. Um, the edge of the cliff there, and uh, we never know what happened. Um, but we like to we, don't, we like to think um, they kind of made it out, perhaps. And uh, yes, yeah, just it, it would have been um, interesting to see um, another ending. But you know, having said that, you know, I think um, it ends perfectly. We have that cliffhanger, and um, we're left with a sense of wonder. And uh, actually, for me, that does you know kind of um, allow the film to be more 
kind of um, you know unforgettable actually, and um, we never know what happened. Um, but it is that legendary kind of literal um, cliffhanger we have ending, and uh, wow, what, one of my favourite endings actually, and uh, just the kind of again the comedy there. Um, yeah, you know, it's so tense, and uh, you know, just um, on the edge of your seat, like, literally, and uh, you know, just. That moment when you know Michael Caine um, says I've got a great idea, um, you know that is just um, what a final line, and um, you know it's as I say a very talked about ending, and um, yeah, just uh, I think it, it's, it's definitely the perfect way to kind of um, wrap this film up, and um, you know we have all these characters just in that moment, and uh, you know kind of um, panning out there, and uh, of course just the shots and the song once again uh, playing, and uh, we'll get to the song, we'll get to the famous. Self-preservation society song, uh, but yes, you know I love the first act. As I say, we have comedy charm and um, just style. You know, as I say, it feels like um, perhaps a Bond film. Uh, you know, of the sixties. Um, you know, super kind of super cool and um, you know real um, kind of charming film. Just so investing um, as well um, in the narrative. Of course, uh, we have Charlie um, kind of um, being told of these plans um, by Roger, and um, you know he kind of. Um, Essentially, kind of uh, you know follows up on these plans and uh, you know and takes this um, and actually enacts this um, throughout the film. We have, of course, the different team uh, members uh, being assembled, and uh, we have uh, loads of different uh, kind of um, you know kind of jolly characters, um, really memorable characters uh, in their own way. And uh, very short film this, uh, but you know we get to know uh, at least at some point you know some of the quirks you know of the characters and uh, you know just um, some standouts, of course, you know, especially you know Benny Hill's character and um, yeah just. Um, Roger as well and Bill, um, all memorable characters and um, just charming and, and likable in their own way. And of course, we have Lorna as well, and um, you know she is essentially um, you know Charlie's love interest. And um, despite him going off with you know, different people at the beginning, you know he is um, essentially uh, with her and um, you know his his partner and um, also someone who helps him, you know, kind of assemble these. Um, this team and these plans. Yes, essentially, you know, Act One, uh, you know, is the actual setup to the film. And uh, you know, for example, so we have different threads. Um, you know, Mr. Bridger, um, as we know, being played by Noel Coward uh, in you know his legendary um, you know role here. Of course, the mastermind. Um, you could say, uh, although you know, kind of, he is being outsmarted um, by Michael Caine uh, in the film. Uh, but yes, essentially, you know, um, Charlie goes to um, you know Mr. Bridger to kind of finance uh, perhaps you know this job, and uh, you know it kind of. It leads on from there, um, but we have um, different uh, interactions early on uh, that I just love, and uh, we have, you know, kind of this um, real kind of mystery at times uh, building uh, around uh, different characters and scenarios, and uh, you know the mafia and their their involvement, um, you know, in this, um, you know, in these events, and uh, of course we have different uh, kind of double crosses and um, all this kind of stuff, and um, yeah, it's just Charlie um, kind of um, gradually going about his business, and uh, of course. Then um, you know meeting different characters and um, as I say, Lorna Bow um, is in the film straight away really and uh, you know played by um, you know Maggie Bly and uh, she is um, great in this film and uh, I love the chemistry between these two and um, just the charm and um, you know seeing seeing um, you know the second act though um, you know kind of leads it leads into the second act where we have um, you know mainly the plans being um, you know fully kind of talked about here you know with massive scenes of you know Michael Caine uh, you know kind of leading the operation and um, telling you know for example everyone where they're going to be going and um, what they're going to be doing of course you know, in Italy and elsewhere and um, the actual you know the actual um, kind of undertaking of this uh, you know is massive and uh, we have all the kind of different details and um, you know things being um, revealed to us um, massive exposition of course and um, despite that you know it really is um, so kind of investing and once again you know, have comedy um, throughout and um, you know more character development, you know, in the middle, um, you know, the second act, and uh, just different scenarios um, that I love, and uh, some of my favourite moments of the film, um, you know, in the second act, uh, you know, just different things that they do, the characters going off, and, um, you know, for example, Benny Hill as well, um, you know, doing uh, different uh, bizarre, you know, encounters, of course, you know, with Benny Hill, perhaps, and uh, just, yeah, just um, seeing, um, you know, the team uh, kind of doing different things, and, and really prepping um, fully, you know, the second act for the heist itself, and, um, you know, then, Act three, yes, it's just um, this massive, um, you know, heist and um, the getaway, of course, and uh, we have around thirty minutes or so, you know, of the kind of the cars through the streets and all this, uh, the traffic jams uh, being set up and um, all the things kind of going about, and of course, not everything goes to plan, uh, but mostly, you know, it's a very first clean um, getaway, and uh, you know, it's kind of it's on edge and it's it's thrilling, uh, but it is, you know, kind of um, going according to plan, and uh, they are successful, and um, then of course, the final, um, you know, kind of ten minutes. Um, 
the kind of driving around. Of course, we have Will, um, you know, just a great, a great character, uh, you know, in this, um, uh, the final scenes, you know, he's, of course, the driver, and, um, you know, he um, essentially, you know, he's, you know, he's laughing away and all this, and, you know, Michael Caine's reaction. Everyone in the back, you know, drinking, and um, we have this bizarre, um, yet legendary, um, you know, kind of final 10 minutes where they're driving through, and, uh, of course, once again, the music kicking in, and uh, then, of course, the final moments where they kind of, um, they swerve, you know, off the cliff edge, and um, they're about to fall, and, of course, that is, you know, one of the most um, intense, um, I must say, final uh, moments in a film ever. And, um, you know, despite that, you know, it's just this, you know, wacky as well, um, upbeat, you know, kind of a comedy sequence. And, um, yeah, just um, the actual one. Once we get to the highest um, itself there and uh, the getaway, uh, you know, I must say, um, this film, truly, this is when it's at its best. Um, you know, I love the first and second act and, um, you know, I love all the characters, the comedy and um, the locations. You know, this is just, um, you know, full of... A variety of locations uh, that are wonderfully captured. Um, you know, the cinematography is stunning, and um, just the music is very, um, you know, romantic and just you know, really um, upbeat as well as uh, being, you know, sophisticated. And uh, you know, it has yeah, sophisticated moments, as I say, you know, in the score and the music. And uh, then we have these wacky moments as well. And uh, of course, we have um, you know, in the final act, um, you know, kind of at one point kicking in. And every time you know it starts, um, this song, um, you know, I'm just the, the first couple of notes, um, this tune, um, I'm just. I am taken back um, to my childhood and, um, you know, just at the same time being so uplifted and, uh, you know, just um, what a song this is and, uh, you know, well, we have, of course, yes, the Self-Preservation Society song uh, or Get a Blooming Move On, uh, as it's sometimes referred to as as well, uh, but, you know, this song, uh, you know, is something that I, I used to, you know, <laughs> different family members as well, used to kind of um, sing this um, when I was younger and um, add different words to it and all this, a very bizarre um, childhood. But yes, uh, you know, this is a, a song that I truly love and, uh, you know, it's, it's such a kind of bizarre song and um, every time, you know, I see it now, especially, you know, I really um, laugh um, because, of course, uh, different cast members, um, including, of course, Michael Caine himself, uh, you know, actually performing this song and, um, you know, the lyrics to this um, are just hilarious, um, you know, I must say, and, um, you know, get your skates on me and all these different uh, lines, uh, it's constantly just um, bizarre and, uh, you know, hilarious and... Uh, an epic, epic song, and, um, you know, it's just a uh, perfect, you know, some uh, would not have, um, you know, ever thought, you know, use a song like this. For example, in, you know, a chase sequence, um, you know, in the end of the film, the heist film, and um, despite that, you know, really, when it is played, um, it works perfectly, and uh, it's one of the kind of um, greatest, I must say, final acts to a film, uh, you know, I think um, there are very little flaws in this at all, um, this film, and I think, especially the final act, um, the last 30 minutes or so, for me, you know, especially the last 15, 20 minutes, um, you know, it's truly 10 out of 10, you know, level uh, filmmaking here and uh, just the cinema, uh, you know, I think it's perfect uh, you know, and beyond and I think it's one of the very best um, final acts to an action film ever and, uh, you know, just the action itself, the way it's kind of staged and um, edited here and um, we know all the stakes at this point, you know, we have, um, because we have so much build up, of course, you know, the plans, um, the characters and uh, we know everything that's going to be going on and um, it could be, you know, a plan that is... Um, you know, uh, convoluted at times, uh, you know, in a different film, but in this film, I think personally, you know, it's just kind of uh, so wonderfully, um, you know, told to us um, that, you know, I'm, a, I'm aware of all the different characters, uh, where they're going, uh, what they're doing, and uh, then seeing it finally on screen and, you know, them actually enacting the plans uh, is so satisfying, um, you know, in this kind of uh, really special way. It's just marvellous, this final act, as I say, um, you know, just, just you know, classic um, cinema here, classic, uh, you know, kind of feel good. British, um, you know, caper. So every time I watch this film, uh, I'm so, you know, uplifted and uh, taken to this uh, magical place, uh, you know, I think just even the villains in this film, uh, you know, it's kind of, as I say, treated like, uh, for example, you know, a Bond film and, uh, you know, it's kind of this, um, for example, they're villains, they're very menacing, of course, um, doing different things that, you know, very, you know, kind of um, brutal uh, at times, uh, you know, they are, you know, a threat, um, but, you know, it's kind of this, at the same time, you know, this charming way in which um, really every character in this film, uh, you know, is portrayed and, um, you know, Mr. Bridger, of course, uh, you know, I love as well, you know, the final act uh, where, you know, different moments are kind of intercut with um, Mr. Bridger, you know, kind of going about, you know, the music playing, of course, and just him, you know, in the prison, uh, you know, and everyone um, cheering and, and all this and, uh, you know, just this um, really joyous, um, as I say, final act, um, you know, I truly, truly love um, the final act uh, and just... This film in general, uh, you know, it really is um, such a wonderful film, uh, you know, feel good, as I say, uplifting film, and, uh, you know, it's this epic, epic um, conclusion uh, that leads to an unforgettable uh, experience um, every time, and um, I would say I've seen this film um, 
way more than 50 times uh, you know before and um, yeah just um, yeah that's how much I, I've seen this film and uh, it truly is a very special one and um, you know I just love the way it's shot edited um, the direction here uh, by Peter Collinson um, you know is really uh, top-notch and uh, I must say especially um, the final act the way it's kind of cut and um, you know just it all comes together you know emotionally even uh, it's kind of got some uh, touching moments uh, you know interactions between the characters and um, you know I know it's not this massive uh, film in length and we don't have too much time, uh, you know, dedicated to, um, for example, every single character. Um, but you know, it's enough to kind of get me, you know, highly invested uh, behind this, you know, team uh, overall. And um, just that, that's one of the main things as well. You know, kind of, um, you know, for example, Michael Caine saying early on, you know, uh, we have to all work together as a team. Uh, you know, it's just this um, really kind of a warm feeling. Uh, you know, I get from this film, and uh, you know, it's treated with such kind of um, charm. You know, we have, as I say, you know, so much comedy in this film, and uh, you know, some of my favourite moments, you know, comedy-wise, you know, really in, in a British uh, film and uh, just um, seeing Michael Caine, uh, you know, just uh, take on this lead role, um, of course, of Charlie, um, you know, for me, it really is one of his very best roles, um, you know, I've seen quite a few, you know, Michael Caine films and, uh, you know, he's one of my favourite actors, um, absolutely, one of my absolute favourites and, uh, you know, a true legend and, um, you know, a great individual uh, and I think, I must say, you know, um, one of the very, very best uh, for me roles, um, you know, is this, uh, you know, this character of Charlie, um, you know, in in the Italian job, and um, you know, it's, it's one that, again, I don't think gets as much credit, um, you know, as it as it deserves, and uh, you know, overall, as a film, you know, this is uh, it's got some of the best um, cinematography, um, you know, of, of a film like this, you know, it's got great action, of course, a masterful action, uh, especially you know, that final act, uh, as I say, is stuff of legends, and uh, you know, really, it defines cinema literally, and uh, cool, <laughs> stylish, um, you know, cinema here. And, what can I say? Um, I truly love this film uh, from start to finish. This is uh, one ride um, that is never going to be forgotten. And um, you know, when you first see it, and um, yeah, just as I say, I've seen it many, many times. Um, you know, it could be, it could be close to a hundred actually. You know, I really think on this um, because I saw it. You know, at one point, you know, nearly every day when I was younger, and uh, just watching this film again and again. And uh, you know, what a what a kind of energetic film this is. Um, you know, in places, and that's one of the things. It's so kind of um, you know precise at times. You know, there's so much going on. The plans, all the different threads, and um, it's very gradual at first, and then it you know gradually kind of uh, becomes more and more energetic. And uh, you know, at a point where you know the final act is sustained kind of uh, tension, energy, um, the comedy, and uh, you know just thrills and action. Uh, it really is, and uh, this kind of um, immortal you know song uh, that is playing. Self-preservation society um, song and um, you know as I say hilarious um, but, you know really a perfect choice um, you know to kind of choose it for the final um, you know kind of set pieces and um, just I love all these moments uh, specifically um, you know when he uh, he says you know Michael Caine is kind of uh, getting the cars um, lined up uh, you know with that that truck there the van and uh, you know just um, you know it's very touch and go at times uh, you know will they kind of get it you know on there and stuff and I've seen the film uh, many many times but you know even then. Every time I see it, you know, I, I'm kind of, you know, touch and go there, like, kind of in the car, um, you know, kind of uh, one of the, the minis um, kind of doesn't make it up and it, go, it kind of falls backwards and, um, you know, back onto the road there, um, you know, kind of, it can't quite, um, you know, get up, you know, the ramp, um, that part there, and uh, then, of course, it goes up, um, but, you know, just these moments, um, cinematically, this film, uh, you know, is stunning and uh, I love the score, all the different songs, um, that are kind of used um, in this and uh, just the atmosphere um, you know the tone and uh, you know we have all these different moments you know it is you know kind of a classic crime film uh, but it is first and foremost this kind of um, jolly um, comedy caper and uh, with these these characters bumbling characters at times and um, you know all these different interactions and uh, how Michael Caine uh, essentially is you know kind of like this father figure to um, these different young guys um, as well and um, just uh, you know the, kind of the charm of this and um, this kind of legendary um, you know, film experience, uh, you know, really is one of my favourites, um, I can't stress that enough, and um, it really is, it's, it's certainly on my favourite uh, favorite films list, and um, yeah, it's just a film that I, I kind of, um, I can't, you know, kind of imagine my childhood, um, you know, without this film, and uh, you know, really um, a marvellous, glorious film, and um, you know, one of the best films, uh, you know, for me, you know, one of my favourites of the 60s, and uh, you know, just um, what a decade that was, and uh, it just, it's one of these films that defines, you know, that decade as well, you know, the stylish kind of cool, um, you know, charm and, uh, you know, just magic um, that is cinema and, um, you know, I, I think the 60s um, was such a great decade and, um, you know, rounding off, um, you know, we had um, some of the best films ever made, um, you know, in 69 as well, especially in 68 and this film uh, firmly, you know, kind of, as I say, sits among uh, my favourite kind of, uh, you know, action films and, uh, you know, kind of 
comedy, um, you know, British um, caper films, and uh, you know, it really is. Once we get, you know, um, to the final act, um, perfection actually um, for the rest of the film, and um, there's a few things um, that aren't quite, you know, masterful in the film um, early on, uh, but you know, mostly, you know, I love the film, uh, you know, throughout the entire runtime, and uh, you know, it really is. I think, you know, Charlie um, Crocker is um, one of my favourite kind of um, lead roles, you know. Um, you know, kind of characters, uh, you know, in a, in a kind of film like this, a crime film, and, uh, you know, I think Michael Caine, as I say, you know, is, is, is um, close to, you know, his best uh, in this film, uh, you know, so likeable, um, you know, kind of serious at times, and, you know, kind of um, really, um, you know, he takes things seriously, he kind of, um, he kind of tells off, you know, all the team uh, at times, and, uh, you know, he really wants to kind of get this, this plan um, underway, and, uh, you know, of course, they're successful um, to a point, um, and, and maybe they did, you know, safely make it off, you know, with, with the gold, um, but who knows, um, you know, it's, the ending is um, up to interpretation and, uh, you know, I think, I'd like to think, you know, it kind of, it ends happy and uh, that they at least, you know, get out, you know, of, of the vehicle there, um, you know, and perhaps they didn't get, you know, the gold, um, but, you know, perhaps they did and um, there are different interpretations of the ending and, um, you know, I have my ideas as well, um, but I wouldn't, I, I don't really like to say that, you know, I'm you know, on the video, if it's kind of ambiguous, the final act, um, you know, as I say, it's open to interpretation, and, uh, you know, I think that's one of the great things about this film, and uh, I won't kind of get into the different theories, um, because, you know, it's just, yeah, it's open to your you know, kind of perspective of the film, and uh, how it ends, and how you would think uh, things would, um, you know, kind of um, play out, and uh, regardless, um, you know, it is satisfying uh, to see all these, um, you know, characters kind of making it off of this, um, this gold and, uh, you know, just the, around the cliffs there and um, going around the roads, uh, you know, on the, on the cliff edges there and, um, of course, when they dispose of the cars, you know, the Mini Coopers and um, just that, that shot as well, I think back to um, one of the best shots in the film is when, you know, the Mini Coopers are kind of going along and the water, you know, the river there and um, all the, this, uh, the kind of uh, water spraying up there and, um, of course, the different cars, the police, you know, the law um, following them and, um, of course, they were crashing, uh, but, you know, the three minis, you know, kind of make it out there, and uh, just that moment there with the music as well, um, the combination, and all these elements, you know, play here. Um, you know, it really is such a great, great film, and um, as I say, all the way up to that, you know, that really um, you know, kind of mind blowing ending uh, for me, and um, just you know, the kind of um, as I say, the locales, the vehicles, and um, the characters, um, the overall charm of this film and the comedy. Um, this is one of my favourites, and uh, you know, certainly highest films, and uh, you know, I must say, um, you know, I truly. I will give this a very, very high score, and um, I don't have much more to say about this film, uh, you know, I guess, and, um, you know, it's, it's just great to kind of watch the film for yourself, and um, we can kind of um, discuss this in the comments as well, and, um, you know, I have different memories of this, and that's uh, perhaps, you know, a kind of, um, I'll save that perhaps, you know, for another video, um, perhaps, you know, in the future, um, you know, a different uh, breakdown of my, uh, you know, childhood favourites, you know, kind of watching different films and memories of seeing them, uh, but yes, you know, I've, I've included some some kind of uh, backstory to this, um, you know, the fact that I watched this many, many times, and um, just uh, one that really um, it is a comfort watch um, for me, um, you know, really comforting film, uh, that's the thing, uh, you know, it's a comfort watch, and, um, you know, just every time I see this, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, um, whatever is going on, um, you, know, you know, stressful, for example, situations, um, issues, of course, um, that kind of uh, come up, and uh, different, you know, perhaps uh, you, you've not had a great week, or all this kind of stuff, and um, yeah, just, uh, or a great, day and um, you watch a film like this and uh, every single time uh, it just it puts me at ease and um, you know I forget about you know all my my worries and uh, you know then you know just kind of um, I'm, I'm uplifted and um, just you know very um, short film uh, but you know it's this one that is it's full of um, you know kind of um, great great characters uh, you know just this um, world building um, you know it's kind of bizarre um, you could say um, you know kind of wacky yeah you know kind of um, you know uh, tense, you know, intense world as well, you know, with the different characters, the mafia, and um, how it's kind of this kind of crime comedy film, and, uh, you know, I think it's one of the best, you know, kind of crime capers um, out there, and um, as I say, it always puts me at ease, and um, just uplifts me, and um, this final, um, you know, act is, you know, kind of um, stuff of legends, uh, you know, as I say, and it's this real joyous, um, you know, purely um, joyous kind of, uh, you know, kind of set of sequences, and um, as I say, the final moments where, you know, for example, Will is, um, you know, laugh, laughing away there and, you know, with Michael Caine and just swerving around and, um, you know, all the characters just in the back with the gold, you know, swinging back and forth and um, the characters, you know, kind of drinking there and um, the music uh, playing, uh, one of my favourite favorite kind of um, songs really, you know, in cinema actually, um, just because, you know, I, I listen to this all the time and uh, it's just such a fun, um, energetic, um, wacky song and, uh, you know, I think all of this, um, you know, is just um, one of the best 
final act um, of the film. So yes, you know, this film, um, as I say, it contains uh, some of my favourite moments uh, really, you know, in cinema, uh, especially comedy-wise and, um, you know, just these legendary lines. Uh, the script itself, as I say, you know, just um, you know, thinking on the different lines. The script is great and um, it has that wonderful flow of this film and um, it gradually, you know, kind of uh, becomes more and more kind of intense and involving and, um, you know, then epic, of course, in the end. Um, so yes, my final rating for this film is extremely high and uh, yes, for me, the original, the Italian job, it gets a 97%. Um, what can I say? I truly love this film and um, especially, you know, the, the, kind of the final act, um, you know, that is, you know, flat out masterful um, cinematic perfection there. And, uh, you know, I think this film, you know, really is uh, underappreciated and um, it doesn't get enough um, recognition, um, I feel. And uh, it could be dismissed as, you know, a silly um, heist film, uh, you know, it's a very wacky film, of course, as I said, it is a silly um, film at times, uh, but it really is a legendary achievement, um, actually. And um, the way it's kind of shot and edited and um, the acting in this film, uh, the characters, and just the writing to this, and um, of course the action itself, and uh, the way that the heist, um, you know, kind of is built up, um, and then you know, kind of pulled off, um, you know, and kind of ending on that really ambiguous, um, you know, kind of legendary um, ending there. Um, you know, this is a legendary film. Uh, the Italian Job um, truly is um, a film that I love, you know, and adore, and uh, just kind of recommend this film enough and um, you know just um, I think um, everyone should see this film uh, to see what they think of it and um, yeah, it'd be great to discuss this film in the comments um, you know I'd love to talk about this film and um, you know perhaps your memories of seeing this and uh, yeah personally it's a film that I grew up watching uh, and just um, you know in in the UK you know is a really um, iconic film especially and uh, of course we had the remake and all this but uh, the original um, I'm not a fan of the remake uh, but the original for me um, truly is a stunning film and uh, you know I just love uh, watching this film. As I say you know, it's a one that I can watch uh, over and over again and uh, at any point really it can just uplift me and uh, put me at ease and uh, let me forget uh, about you know perhaps my worries and uh, really a wonderful film this um, a one that I really um, you know, kind of holding high regard and uh, it means a lot to me and uh, yeah just um, memories of seeing this with my family um, as well as just um, uh, sticking it on and watching it and uh, yeah it's just these these last two um, rewatches of course um, you know getting on access to it of course uh, you know on blu-ray um, that was you know some of my favorite times you know seeing this film so yes we'll wrap up now and uh, as I say it'd be great to hear your thoughts um, feel free to leave your thoughts you know in the comments and uh, we can discuss this film and um, you know I look forward to um, as well you know over time, uh, you know, reviewing as much, uh, at least, Michael Caine films, you know, as I can um, on the channel. And, um, yeah, just, um, I always love seeing Michael Caine uh, in a film, um, you know, for the record. Every single film that I've seen Michael Caine in, um, you know, I've enjoyed him in those films. Uh, you know, there's quite a few that I've seen, um, even just, you know, for example, um, The Swarm. Um, you know, I've seen that and I, I did enjoy him in that film. And, uh, you know, he is just uh, a true legend uh, to me. And uh, it'd be great to discuss Michael Caine films, um, you know, here in the comments, of course. And, um just uh, you know review different films that he's been in um, you know over time on the channel and um, you know it'd be great to one day do um, a ranking perhaps or you know just um, in that sense you know top 10 or so um, favorite you know kind of uh, Michael Caine films so you know I want to do that you know I've always planned um, you know doing that and um, yeah I don't um, see why I wouldn't um, kind of go about and, uh, and kind of uh, finally do that um, one day and um, of course there are quite a few that I've not seen um, before uh, including of course Alfie um, I've actually um, I admit I've never seen that film, uh, so that's, um, you know, The Hypocrite's File, um, you know, all these different films, uh, The Man Who Would Be King, and um, so many films, you know, I have on my watch list, and, um, you know, quite a few Michael Caine films, um, so yes, I look forward to, um, you know, re-watching, and of course, uh, watching um, different uh, Michael Caine films, and then, of course, uh, eventually, you know, talking about um, them on the channel, and, um, yeah, it'd be great to, it'd be a pleasure to talk about this film, and um, all these different, um, you know, kind of, Michael Caine films um, going forward. Um, so yes, once again, a big thanks to the Clagger um, for requesting this film, and uh, you know, you have great taste, you know, because this film uh, truly is, once again, um, you know, a great film uh, to talk about, and um, I've loved reviewing this film. Uh, so yes, once again, you can check out, you know, the Clagger's channel um, in the description. I'll leave you know a link to his channel, and um, you can kind of go to that. And um, yes, just um, a great request, and um, you know, a film that I truly love, and uh, it's been you know a pleasure to talk about this film. And um, yes, as I say. A film that I love and, um, you know, really um, yeah, such an enjoyable film to talk about, you know, on the channel. And uh, yes, as always, take care and thanks for watching.